What's the date, Trent? It is Tuesday, August 23rd, 2016. This is Room in the Trees, a podcast about... Oh. Oh, come on. Sorry, I wasn't prepared to be the... um... The Hills of Perspective. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) That was easy. (laughs) The following was recorded today. Just now. Just now. Right now. (laughs) (laughs) It's recording right now. We are. This is it. Right. This is it. And this is episode seventeen. Yep. Know this, part two. Room in the Trees is hosted by Trent Reynolds, me, and me, Sabrina. Show notes, including pictures, links, video, and more for every episode can be found on roominthetrees.com. If you are enjoying this podcast, please take a moment to rate us on iTunes. You can also support us by subscribing at patreon.com backslash room. And uh, let's get to what we are, what the episode is today. Um, We had a conversation earlier this week that we recorded, and we're just at the tail end of uh, talking for another hour or so about this challenge that was issued last week by one of our listeners of sharing what it is we know. And uh, we have had two fantastic conversations where I really feel like a lot of great things were said I'm just having a hard time, I think we both are, consolidating that into something that would work well uh, sharing with uh, this larger audience. Mm-hmm. So I I wanted to, to say some things that I've gotten from our two conversations, and you can, you can tell me what you think, and if you agree or disagree. And then I thought we'd just have you read um, a couple quotes from uh, some of your books. And leave it at that. Does that sound okay? That sounds wonderful. What's the most interesting thing you learned that was interesting to you as a person in the world right now and where you're at in your life? Well, the thing, the thing that, it, that I still find myself returning to after our conversations um, is this idea that, that the person you were when you wrote Spilling Open was complete. It was all there. Like you were, you were (laughs) all those ideas, those truths, those, those intuitions, it was a complete you. And that that person is still who you are today. So, so the question was asked, what do you know now that's different than, than what you wrote in Spilling Open or how have things changed? And I don't think it has changed very Mm -hmm. much. I think, I think there, you were complete in that moment. And it's just been like, like we talked about, that was a seed that has grown and become more expansive, more alive, more nuanced and experienced. But essentially the core of what existed then is the same as what you are now. And that's kind of, it's surprising and also obvious to me that 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 would be the case. What part of it was surprising? Surprising that you could be so complete at such, such a young age. Even you know, though there were so many questions in the book? Well, I, I don't think that... Yeah. I don't think questions change. I think right. the questions are still there. Right. I think questioning is is something that is an integral part of your existence and your being. You know, there are other people that don't question as much, and they exist more in the realm of answers, And but that's not who you are. That was easy. <laughs> so with that uh it, what, what would you like to say and I, I agree and i was saying i think um i'm really looking forward to um reading and sharing some of this with you it's coming up on 20 years ago i was writing these journals in my sunroom in berkeley and i just look forward to reading some of these uh some of these pages and sharing them. It's been wonderful the past week. I've um, shared some through Etsy and it's, it's sweet to revisit um, those moments and see them, see their colors and seeing those words again. It feels good and, and dear to me. Thank you.
hear those waves? <clears throat> that is in Italy. <laughs> it's a live webcam in Italy. Just throughout the day I just listen to the waves in Italy that are waving right now. Okay, it is late. Twelve. 48 a.m. in the morning, and I'm going to read some of these pages. I'm going to read three of them to start, but I might sound too tired. I'll try, to, I'll try one. The great American poet Walt Whitman said there is a time we must wash the gum from our eyes and dress ourselves for the dazzle of the light. He looked at men and women struggling with their lives and said, Long have you timidly waited holding a plank by the shore. Now I will you to be a bold swimmer, to jump off into the midst of the sea, rise again, nod to me, shout, and laughingly dash with your hair. I'm feeling rather disheveled and slightly crooked. I seem to be seeping out of the edges. I'm Sabrina Ward Harrison. I'm 21. This is my book. I often feel an overwhelming pressure to, quote, have it all together. What is it? I feel young. I am young. Children's book author and artist Maurice Sendak described his creative process as a descent into limbo. This describes my entire life lately. The more I look around and listen, I realize that I am not alone. We are all facing choices that define us. No choice, however messy, is without importance in the overall picture of our lives. We all at our own age have to claim something even if it's only our own confusion. I'm in the middle of growing up and into myself. This is my book. It is my life in progress, a growing expedition through the tangled and unfilled in parts of understanding my life, my truth, and myself. I want to share it. Welcome inside. The basic, the angry, the sad, the lost, the wondering, the small one, the dreamer, the believer, the young, the brave, the weak, the strong, the alone, the together, the safe, the unexpected, the annoying, the insecure, the waiting, the wisher, the glowing, the understanding, the scared, the holding back, the letting go, the true and the question. The me I know and the me I don't. Belong to yourself. I've been feeling so blank and full of muted tones. I just feel sort of beige. I've been stuck in muck. Yesterday I got my hair cut so short that when I went to school, Christopher said I look like an English schoolboy. So that didn't help. My face feels wide and naked. It just looks so good in the magazine. What I really want to say to myself is, it's all right. This, right here, this mess, this. As my friend Gary says, in its own, in its own flawed way, it's all secretly perfect. These anxious questions, doubts, answers, and waiting. This is just as it is right now, taking me on my way. Don't run, we all suffer. There will be understanding. This is what I know to be true. Sooner than you think and later than you expected. Study that voice inside that whispers, yes. I've learned more is never enough. The world waits for you. Writing a book is really hard and takes a really long time and a hell of a lot of faith. Writing is mostly about letting go and loosening the muscles of the heart. I'm learning that growing up is a mixture of surrendering to all of that none of it matters and all of it matters. The details of our lives are truth. It's about what we stand up for and what we let go of. This is the real stuff.
Thank you for listening. You guys are wonderful. And go read some stuff out loud from your own journal. And we will talk to you next week. Uh, once again, show notes and some great links um, we are putting up on roominthetrees.com. It would be really awesome if you would rate us or review us on iTunes or leave a comment for us to respond to on, on the comment section of the website. And please, if you want to buy us half a burrito by um, becoming a patron on patreon.com forward slash room, that would be fantastic. What kind of burrito would you uh, uh, Let me have? tell you exactly what I would have. <laughs> Love how prepared you are with this. Okay. I would have a grilled steak burrito with um, avocado, lime, cilantro, extra cilantro, um, brown rice, extra lettuce, lemon squeezed on it. Um, Gosh, I don't, I don't feel I'm not up to my a little bit of sweet potato puree. Come on. <laughs> I'm not up to my game. I have I've been off burritos um, for a few months, so oh I saw this guy wearing a t-shirt and I wish I took a picture of it two days ago that said tacos or death. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <clears throat>